Hello again, this is a chapter 7 tutorial. Uh, we're going to be looking at an introduction to testing and debugging with specific reference to BlueJ. So, um, we need to test. Uh, testing is a major part of any software project, as you would have seen in previous lessons and lectures. So, uh, there's, there's amazing ways and means around testing, and that's what the whole um, bit about today's um, video is. Now, I want you to have a quick look at that and see if you can see what the problem is with that code. Now, at first glance, it would appear normal, so have a quick look at it, pause the video, um, uh, maybe have a look, see if you can work it out. Um, the actual answer that's going to be produced is that the result is to double to 22. Now, looking at that, that doesn't make much sense at all until you go through and see actually where the error mess the error is. Now, the error is shown by a semicolon there. Now, what this shows is um, uh, the difference between a logical error and a syntax error. Now. With the syntax error, the compiler is going to pick up the error and is going to very quickly show you that something is not right because it won't allow you allow the program to compile at all. So you get those compiler errors. Those syntax-based errors are very um, easy to spot, um, and the program doesn't run. Uh, and when you first start coding, those are typical errors that you receive all the time. Um, the other errors, which become more and more prominent the more you do coding, are your planned type of errors and your logical type errors. Now, the planned errors we're going to look at in a later chapter, which is completely devoted to um, handling exceptions. Uh, an example of this is a file name incorrectly typed when you go to open up a new file. So that's an error that you're expecting. And we're going to look into these type of errors and exceptions to great detail in a later chapter. The type of errors which we're going to look at to in this chapter are logic-based errors. Now, the compiler can't help with these, um, and we also know these as bugs. Uh, you may hear them as uh, logic bombs as well as another uh, term which, which describes them. But these are the kind of errors which, it, as far as the compiler works, it's fine. Um, but it's, it's not correct. For example, having a, a method which adds two numbers, and then the method, for some reason, uh, has the difference of those two numbers, so that's a logic bomb it, it, or a, a logic prob a logical error in the program. Now these are very difficult to spot. So for all, in order to, to work with these errors and to deal with these errors, we need to have testing in place. Um, we can lessen the likelihood um, as per uh, shown up on the screen there using encapsulation, uh, modularization and documentation running through our code. But really, um, as you'll see, that you, you will need to, to test to make sure there's no logical errors in your code. So, how do we go about testing and debugging? Well, we must appreciate that these are crucial skills and are needed for all software development and all programs. You'll know from experience that finding a bug in a particular program or application which you're using is very annoying and um, <coughs> very uh, very annoying to sort of to, 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 to use applications with these bugs in. Uh, we've got uh, some testing available to us. Now, JUnit, which is uh, known as unit testing within BlueJ, is a framework developed for Java to allow testing and specific testing on, uh, on applications and units and classes and, um, and methods. Uh, this will allow us to automate our tests. The other method which, which is used very regularly is the manual walkthrough where you actually walk through and design it on paper and it's important to go through these tests initially. Uh, the other things which you might have been using throughout your programming is print statements, so putting in print statements to find out what exactly is going on with the actual code. The other method of uh, debugging techniques and finding out errors and why something is doing a certain thing is to use a debugger. As you've seen previously, we have uh, talked you through the debugging in uh, BlueJ, and if you want to have a look at that again, then have a look at Chapter 3, which will take you through the debugging. And the debugger is an extremely useful tool which you'll need to use when you start to get to any level of complexity. So unit testing. Um, each unit can uh, be tested, so as shown on the screen there, methods, classes, um, and packages in Java. And they can and they need to be done during development. Uh, early errors found will help a lot of, uh, save a lot of time. 
and you need to build up a test suite and a load of test harnesses in order to uh, allow your testing. So some, uh, some testing fundamentals, you're going to be effectively looking for violations um, and doing things which it shouldn't do basically and you're going to be using positive and negative tests. So a positive test is if you test a method which tests that in two numbers and you put two and two in there, you'll expect a four to come back. So that's a positive test. When you, uh, a negative test is expecting something uh, negative. So for example, with our example, um, if you put in a string of the number three and an integer of the number three into an addition method, you would expect that an error message might come back. So that's an example of a negative test there. You've also got boundary testing, which tests around the boundaries of specific things. So an example of this um, is empty collections or full collections. So if you've got an array list which doesn't have anything in it, it should come back and not have any errors. Um, you, you should be able to test around it, so you'd be able to test using minus indexes and other, bit, and, and other types of tests in there to see if these type of collections are working. So those are, that's boundary testing. Okay, so to get you um, in, um, in the mood for this, have a look at the online shop based application. Now we're going to go through the online shop with JUnit in a later video, but for the time being just have a look at the online shop without JUnit in it and uh, have a look at going through the exercises and finding the bugs within that program. Okay, see you next time.